guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 37 and 38 of March Comes In Like a Lion. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 37 in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, because I kind of left this in like a kind of cliffhanger -y episode. Today is Wednesday. Oh shit. That comes out today too. And I don't know if I'll be able to watch it tonight. Mm. Of course. Makes it more real, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought we just were going to have an open day today. <laughs> Never mind. But you know what? Before we continue this, I need to check. I don't even know if it's out out yet. And, and I'm not going to get done with this until about 4 o'clock. Okay, no, thank God. They don't have it yet, but it is supposed to come out today. I just don't know when. Like, honestly, and I've said this <laughs> once, I'm going to say it again. I, I did say he gives me Yuki vibes, kind of, but he also gives me, like, hella Akito vibes as well. Except he's not, you know, bitchy and mean as she is, you know, if, if you know, you know. If you don't, you'll find out in season three of Fruits Basket.
Maybe because you think you're hesitated? Or was it the wrong move? Mm. And of course, soya is all that. He did, didn't he? That's it, isn't it? Is that bad though? Oh, okay. Excuse me, sorry. Hmm? 
It's the area of the knee. Yeah, he seems very much like to himself and quiet not like a shy quiet but just like yeah I don't feel like talking to people Of course, I thought too, even though I really, truly wanted you to win. Maybe because you may have, I can't speak, you put Soya on like a higher pedestal than everyone else. <clears throat> hey, when you have something stuck in your throat. Mm, that too. Did he mean it like that's what it's like to lose or maybe hesitating?
the soy is on the drink. Oh, he's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh. <gasps> oh. fucking eyelash what the <laughs> I can't stop it you can't do this once again I'm falling for a damn anime character because of their fucking eyelashes what the fuck is wrong with me So did you just wait until tomorrow? Hmm? Hmm. Nice thinking. Yeah, but now you need somewhere to sleep. I, I think Soya's looking right at it. Mm hmm. Yeah, then you guys all. You, know, you also have to think about how much money you have. Do you have enough? Huh.
That and then the fact that you two just faced each other like a day before. Did you go the wrong way? Uh, uh, Soya? Go on. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. That's it. Nothing else. Okay, 30 bucks. Okay. <laughs> hmm. I mean, in a way, he the fact that he's getting this chance to just be with him, it's interesting because he gets to see, like, almost his way of life and what he naturally just does every single day or during a, a, something bad when something bad happens especially because of the fact is now they're stuck together and they're going to be there for another day and then eventually they're going to eventually you know i can't speak go home and go their separate ways i you know last week i really really thought ray got this and i was thinking also going into this episode ray's got this because yes these two are on different levels. Yes, Soya is very more higher up than Ray is, but Ray is climbing that ladder or on that train to greatness and stardom and such. But the fact is, you could just tell Soya was just a little too, you know, not OP, but just, uh, like I said, on a different level than Ray. I mean, he tried his best. I think everyone who has gone against these two whether they are in the same level or they're different levels they can see the majority differences of someone who like if if it was me and a friend playing a game and i'm really good at the game and they're relatively not as good but maybe still on a newbie type level you can see the playing field and the, the way like um our levels are and how we play and strategize and ish because something that you know my friend not be may not be good at I may be good at and vice versa and so I mean but it was still a good match and I, it's, just, it's really interesting to see these two together because honestly I never would have thought we would have an episode where these two would be like this close together as of now You're right. Mm. See, I also, oh shit, that hurt. I also kind of expected. A little bit, little teeny tiny bit. Um, that Soya, we would have went back and forth between the POV of Ray and Soya. These two, especially, because I mean, during this match, I also wanted to see what the heck was going on in Soya's head, especially when he was playing. This is how, like, okay, a couple of weeks ago, when I thought, you know, 
my child was gonna get a POV episode, and then it was like, nah, mm mm. <laughs> he didn't get no focus, but she's she kinda did, even though it was still in the POV of Ray, but still, you know, your girl was like, no, we need to see her, you know, not hanging out with people and then going somewhere to cry, and then here comes Ray to the rescue and such, but no, like, I, I still get it, it's okay. But, like, Seriously, your girl wanted to know what the hell was going on in his head and what he's currently thinking while going against Ray because, you know, from last week's episode going into this week's episode, you are seeing everything through Ray's eyes, seeing how what he truly thinks about the match, how he feels when he's going against someone else and such. But I was like, okay, are we going to see it through someone else's possibly again? Because I, as much, and, I, and I've said this before, as much as I love seeing, you know, main character Ray and his struggles and everything, I do also love it when we get to see other characters in this series eventually get like their one-off episode it's very similar to like my hero or fr or fruits basket mother effing fruits basket and how it focuses on everybody in the damn show <coughs> i <coughs> choked again i hate when that happens <laughs> oh my god uh -huh. as i was saying and everybody gets a fucking focus and it's not just like entirely as i would say kyo yuki toru because everybody in that damn show gets like the best fucking focus and i love it you know not everybody in that in this show well in both shows um <clears throat> it's coming again <laughs> excuse me fucking throw um doesn't get either too much or too little. And I love that about this series and Fruits Basket both. But yeah, I, I don't know how the hell, you know, this next episode is going to go. What the heck is going to happen. Maybe they'll have like a, a friend. Th this is a bonding moment between these two. I don't know if it's going to involve evolve there we go. That's the word into a friendship because it seems like it kind of is. But at the same time, because of the fact is Soya has barely talked in this show, relatively this episode, I don't know how 38 is going to go, but we got to wait and find out and see. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 38. Okay, episode 38 in 3, 2, 1, go. Please do not cough again. Don't like me choke, please, because like, ugh. So nasty. Seriously, honestly, Soya is just like the cutest, precious little thing. I can't with him. <clears throat> He starts. He stops.
are all wet. Peaceful. But then he stopped. Yeah. Exactly. He's always just been by himself. Why do you make the freaking cutest guy in this damn show with the most tragic backstory? Oh my god. Everybody in this show. He probably couldn't. Yeah. It's so sad. My thing is, like, why hasn't he possibly, you know, gotten a hearing aid? I mean, that helps from what I've known from others, but I get the fact that, yes, he sometimes wants to be silent.
Well, it just, you know, felt like the right thing to do. You paid for it. Well, damn. out of your head.
kiss baby oh that looks so good mm. oh god I'm hungry even though I ate <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm. You felt the same. But damn. Yeah, I think you're right.
You precious baby, I missed you so much. God, this fucking show. Uh huh. I don't even know why the fuck I'm crying. <laughs> I love when shows do that though. It just makes you cry for no fucking reason. You're like, oh my god, like why? Oh, but I'm so happy for him that he won. Like honestly, because I was like, there was a moment in the back of my mind where I was like, if he loses, like, oh, this is gonna fucking hurt. But no, he won. Like, oh, precious baby. Like I was thinking he was just gonna like, you know wait a little bit longer but no he went right he got discharged and went right back into it he was like no like I've missed so much like let me just continue from here and like just uh it's too much damn it we're not even done with this show yet and I feel like <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna cry about is like anything oh I can't this is a really good episode. Still, the, these last two were just on point, especially with the Soya, you know, Ray relationship. Even though I, I really don't know if I would consider them friends in a way, just more still of acquaintances. I mean, you know, the fact that Ray still wants to go against him again, I do want to see it honestly myself again too. And maybe it be like a little bit longer than our, our first match was with him, of course. But I think, you know, it's up to Ray at the end of the day if he really thinks he can possibly go against him. And I, I think he can. It's <laughs> more than he can. I can't. But this was so freaking good. Like, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? I just... Oh. Th this was too much. Like, Jesus. Like, you, you, seriously, you just made me cry over, like, just a little teeny tiny moment of the Kaido. Like, oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and then like no. And then it's a crazy setting and she was setting me, you know. A bitch and a dog and everything and the puppies. Like, oh my god, warm my heart. Like Jesus, I can't. When it comes to dogs, I'm like, <laughs> like I want them all, I guess. But this was a damn good episode. Both were, honestly. I mean, you know, you go from a very dark tone episode from episode 37 to kind of a happy warm tone, especially with the fact that Nikaido won in episode 38 and such. I mean, th this show was really good at going, using colors, um... In tones as emotions really really good I mean like I think the only other show that I can think about it once again is Fruits Basket I I literally cannot think of any other show as of right now that when you see a tone of a certain color you instantly know how possibly the scene is gonna go or maybe the whole entire episode is gonna go or just like certain parts and such I mean the colors of this show is fucking beautiful and we're not even done with this show I know we're possibly like very close to the end of this series but honestly like th this is gonna hurt when I finish the show because it's like oh god this is too much and 
however the hell this series is gonna end i'm probably going to be just crying when the last episode airs and when i finish it and i'm just gonna be like yeah we're done guys like what the fuck but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 37 and 38 of March Comes In Like a Lion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next, <clears throat> next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for everybody else for episodes 39 and 40. Bye, guys.